Hi, I'm Lars and welcome to my farm. Out here, when I want to check my water tanks or open a gate or spy on the resident llama gang, I need things to connect. But it's not always easy when they're out of reach. Kind of like developing apps for the Atlassian Cloud. Yeah, okay, let me explain. When I build an app using Atlassian Forge, it usually runs up in the cloud. But what if I want to test something that lives on my own machine? What if I want to see what the front end looks like without deploying every 10 seconds? On the farm, we solve this with tunnels, like real ones, like pipes for the troughs, network cables in the ground for my gate setup, and even wombat holes that connect paddocks in ways that you wouldn't expect. In Forge, we get something similar, tunneling. Forge tunneling connects your local code to a deployed Forge app. Let you test UI and function changes live while still using real production data from Jira or Confluence. It's like giving your dev machine a secret underground passage straight to the cloud. So let's say I'm building a custom app, for example, to track hay deliveries to the llamas using Forge. I want it to show up inside Jira, but I also want to test it locally while I fiddle with the UI. With tunneling, I just run Forge Tunnel. And now every change I make to my code shows up instantly in Jira. I can use hot reload just like I would on any local web project. It's just like checking my weather station like that from the homestead instead of hiking out to the paddock. With Forge tunneling, I get the benefit of fast iteration without deploying to production every time I want to see if I've moved a button or something five pixels to the left. So whether you're tracking hay, bugs or code, Forge tunneling is your shortcut to the cloud. No tractors required. Give it a shot, start tunneling today and to know more, use the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course like this video so you can get many more Forge tips and tricks.